Hey, what's going on, guys? Connor Cook here, and welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red. Uh, I don't really know what part this is going to be now because uh, I haven't actually edited the last recording session yet. So, yeah, by the time I'm done, there's going to be loads and loads of videos to do. But, uh, yeah, anyway, welcome back to Pokemon Fire Red, regardless. Uh, in the last uh, recording session I've managed to uh, catch a Growlithe, uh, do the whole uh, Lavender Tower uh, side quest and and a stormed uh, Sylphco. Well I'm still in the process of s storming Sylphco but anyway I'm going to put that on hold just briefly because I'm going to go and fly to Celadon and uh, the reason being is because I want to get uh, TM Flamethrower. And basically, uh, the way you get Flamethrower is you uh, go to the game corner and you buy some coins. But there is a slight problem, and that problem is that I don't have a coin case. And you get the coin case from in here by talking to this guy right here. I'm flat out busted, no more slots for me, I'm going straight. Here, I won't be needing this anymore. So, I've got a coin case, so that means I can now buy coins. Um, I don't remember how much uh, how much coins are, but I seem to recall they're quite expensive, so... Yeah, um, I do know it's 4,000 coins for for flamethrower so before I go to the game corner I'm just gonna go to the department store to sell a few items just whatever I don't need um, to be fair I don't need an escape rope because uh, I've got dig so I'll sell those um, I'll keep the burn eels in fact I'm gonna keep every status ailment mo uh, item um, while I've got uh, the full eels. Uh, I'll sell the calciums. Uh, X speeds, I'll sell them too. X accuracy. Um, Uh, of course, I'm not going to sell the rare candies because they'll be useful like the Pokemon League. Still getting over my cold, guys. Like, isn't that just fantastic? Right, puts me at 84,000. That might be enough to get me to 4,000 coins, but I don't know. Um, let's have a look in my TMs. Um... To be fair, Focus Punch isn't a bad move, but the problem is, though, is that if the Pokemon attacks before I get to hit it off, it's not gonna. I'm not gonna get to use it, so I'm gonna sell that because it's a very situational move. Uh, Water Pulse. Um, to be fair, I could teach that to Gyarados, but it's a special move with it being a Water type move, so probably not the best idea. Uh, raw, yeah, I'll get rid of that. Uh, as well as bullet seed, I'll get rid of that too. Uh, taunt allows it to use only attacking moves. Yeah, I'll keep that. Uh, same with light screen, I'll keep that too. And Giga Drain, frustration, I'll get rid of because all my Pokemon love me. Um, Brick Break is actually a good move. Um, I don't think I've got any electric types that can learn shockwaves, so uh, I don't know, I'll keep it for now. Uh, get rid of Rock Tomb though. Aerial Ace? Why haven't I taught that to uh, Pidgeot yet? That's. Like, Aerial Ace is like one of the best like moves in the game because it just doesn't miss. Uh, Torment? Uh, it could be useful. Rest, yeah, that could be useful. I could have a, I could have a Pokemon learn rest and then give it like a Chesto Berry. Uh, attract, meh. Uh, 
thief. Yeah, get rid of that. And snatch. Yeah, get rid of that. Right, I think that's that's all I wanted to get rid of. Um, actually, I'm going to look in the TM section. Is this it? Right, so what have we got here? We've got raw, hyper beam, dig, brick break, secret power, attract. Oh, is that it? Pretty much got all of these moves already, apart from obviously raw, because I've sold it. Hyper beam, on the other hand, I don't have that. But it's 7,000, though, I'm not going to bother with that. Alright, let's go straight to the game corner then and play some slots. Except that's not what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm actually just going to buy coins and just claim my prize. That's all I'm going to do, really. Right. Keep this quiet. It's rumoured that this place is run by Team Rocket. If you speak to the, the patrons here, uh, you can get coins from them. So I'm just going to do that. Did I just find 10 coins on the ground? Uh, these slot games, win or lose, it's only by luck. Um, games are scary. What's up, want some coins? 20 coins, thank you. Throwing me off. Here's some coins. Shoe. Thanks. What's this? Pokemon printer. You can put a print of your Pokemon on the back of your trainer card. It costs only 50 Poke Dollars. Okay. Never done that before. Uh, please choose the print type. Um, go on, I'll choose black. Big smile for the photo, please. Um, okay. Let's have a look at it. All it's done is um, it's made they've made it's made my Pokemon silhouettes. That's that's literally all it's done. Wow. Probably should have gone for Sepia in that case. Um, they offer rare Pokemon that can be exchanged for your coins, but I just can't seem to win. Welcome! Right. Oh, 10,000, just 500. See, that's why I went. That's why I wanted to make sure I got at least 80,000. Right. Let's get to 4,000 coins and then let's get me flamethrower TM. I don't know where you find flamethrower normally like in the world so uh, this is probably my best method of uh, getting flamethrower right now right that's all I need let's head out and then we'll go in here should you fancy that Porygon? May. That's, that's messed up, that's... Wait, is it even bestiality? Because Porygon isn't even an animal, it's an inanimate object. Uh, we exchange your coins for prizes. Um, miracle Seed, Charcoal, Mystic Water, Yellow Flute. A Yellow Flute sounds good. Uh, but I've only come here for one thing. Uh, Abra, Clefairy, Dratini. Ooh, Dratini! 9,999 for a Porygon. Wow. Um, Dratini does sound nice, though, but... Only thing is, though, it's harder to level up. Right, so... Flamethrower is TM35, so... We'll just go in there, buy that, and uh, you can get also get like Thunderbolt and Ice Beam too. So 
I may come back for those moves because they're really good moves. And uh, there would be another thing I want to do as well, and that's to get the amulet coin. But to get that, I have to speak to Professor Oak's aide and uh, catch 50 Pokemon. Which is just not possible for me at the minute. Because I, I have to catch and evolve Pokemon. Right, Silphco. Here we go. Back in here again. Hopefully, uh, hopefully there's not too much more to this place, cause, uh, cause I've been here these last like three episodes now, so, um, I don't know why I'm looking at my Pokemon, like, like I'm paranoid that they haven't been healed or something. Can I solve the maze here? Um. Right. Oh, I think I was just looking for the uh, thing, weren't I? Right. Do I need to go to the... What floor do I need to go to? Really not sure. Call for backup. Um... I don't think I've been that way yet. Card key! Finally! Found it! Show Team Rocket a little respect. Why should I? They're too goofy for my respect. Right. Um. I'm gonna try and take this out with Growlithe, because uh, I do want it. I still want to get him to level 31, so he can learn Flame Wheel. Right, bite again. Ah, flinch, nice. Don't one shot. Oh, great. Why'd you have to confuse? Don't hurt yourself. Really? Oh. Right. I was really hoping that I could take this out with Growlithe, so it'd be an easy, easy level up, but doesn't look like that's the case. Okay, you missed. Good. Growlithe definitely would have levelled up if he was able to take that out. Whenever. Well, at least I've got the card key now, so that means I can I can unlock any door. So yeah. Um Okay. 
Ooh, item. Uh oh, there's my rival. Ah, oh, and, and that guy there, next to him. He's the guy that's got the Lapras. Fucking hell, so I do have to battle my rival first. That's annoying. I support Team Rocket more than I support Silphco. Well, you should be ashamed, mate. I mean, do you even know what Team Rocket are? Scientist Jose sent out... Actually, he doesn't have the accent on the E, so... Is it really just Joe's? I don't know. Um... Right, switch out. I'm pretty sure I'll, I'll level up anyway. Why did I use dig first? I should have used like mud slap. Oh well. All I've done by doing that is delay the battle. Delay the inevitable there. Okay. Really? That wasn't enough to level it up? Well, it should level up after this wheezing anyway. gonna have levitate so I'm gonna have to switch to Gyarados here okay oh poisoned there is a slight chance that my Pokemon could get something it flipping gets it 100% of the time well 95% of the time Right, Dragon Rage. What? You miss? Oh yeah, smoke screen. Right. Come on, flinch him. Oh my god, this is going to get annoying. Yes. You deserve that flinch. Come on, get a crit. Of course you'd miss on the last one. Tell you what, I could just let Gyarados die and then switch to Growlithe and get all the XP. Yeah, come on then. Well, be nice knowing you Gyarados. I'll be sure to revive you after this battle. Right. I should be faster than this. There we go, level 31. That means you should be learning Flame Wheel now. There we go. Nice. Um, let's get rid of... Ember. Yeah. And that means I can now evolve this into Arcanine now. So... You really got me. Yeah, I sure did. Uh, right. Before I do that though, let's go and teach Flamethrower to, to Growlithe. Wait, Gyarados can have Flamethrower? Well, I guess it is like a, a dragon type. Well, not a dragon type, but... 
you know, dragon-like creature. I could get rid of Odor Slough, but that might be useful at the Elite Four against Agatha, so... Use Odor Slough, then switch to Prime Ape and sweep her team or something. I don't know. Um, you know what? I'll, I'll just get rid of it. Because that strategy would require switching anyway, which could get messy. So I'll just get rid of it and learn Flamethrower in its place. Uh, while I'm here, I'll teach Aerial Ace to Pidgeot. Well, wow, quite a few Pokemon can learn this actually. Could even teach it to Primeape just for just for lols. But I'll teach it to Pidgeot because I'm actually sure should I? I should look this up. What level can Pidgeot learn? Aerial Ace. Oh, it learns 856, so it's a good while. Yeah, I'll, te I'll teach it Aerial Ace now. Um, okay, thinking. Could get rid of Feather Dance. That might be good for... Like, I don't know. You know what? I'm not going to overthink this. Let's just get rid of it. Right, Aerial Ace. Um, who can learn Shockwave? Nobody. Attract? I mean, everyone can learn that. Um, nah. Yeah, I, I could teach it. I could teach Primate Brick Break, but. I think it probably learns on its own, and I'm not going to look up what level either. Hold on. Need to use the Firestone. Here we go. Ugh. Here we go. I'm about to be in possession of. An Arcanine. Very good. Right. I think now that I've got the Arcanine. I might just might just go back to the room where my rival was and face him. I'll probably get outmatched, but I don't know. It just means I've got to be careful, really. I bet he's gonna have an Alakazam now. <laughs> Imagine. Right. Let's make sure that there are no loose ends. Eh, you know what? Let's just do it. What kept you, Connor? Huh. I thought you turned up if I waited here. Mitch is secretly part of Team Rocket? I guess Team Rocket slowed you down. Not that I care. 
I saw you in Saffron, so I decided to see if you got better. Why didn't you battle me in Saffron, then? I guess Mitch decided to join Team Rocket after uh, after I murdered his Raticate. Level 37! Holy shit! Right. Oh boy, uh, this could get dicey. Um, yeah, this this could get this could get messy. Right. Oh, you only did like a quarter of my health. Okay. Right. This is going to require a few heals, but I've got to do this. Uh, flamethrower. Let's have a look. Um, oh, he's faster than me, isn't he? Um, he could finish Arcanine off. I can't really risk it. Right, next up is Gyarados. Oh boy, um, I guess I'll use Venusaur then, I just hope he doesn't have any ice or flying moves at this point, I don't think he would have a flying move, if he does have a an ice move it probably won't be very good with it. Oh really? Alright, let's try this again. Right. This could take a while, guys. Oh, you withdrew. Fuck's sake. This is where I should have kept Rock Tomb. So I could have taught it to Doug Trio and I could have had a good counter. Even fucking Gyarados doesn't, like, have a water move. I mean, like, what the fuck? I'm going to have to switch to Gyarados. There's no way he's evading uh, a type disadvantage. My god, I'm 11 levels lower than him, like... My god. Um, lemonade. <laughs> it does like nearly half my health each time as well, like. Okay, one more Dragon Rage and that should be all she wrote. And then I've got three more Pokemon to contend with. What? <laughs> that did way more than half my health that time. Oh, fuck's sake. 
What did he use to increase his flamethrower there? I don't really know what else to do, really. Um, he's going to take Gyarados out, but... <sighs> he, he was doing like a third of my health before. Why is he doing more than half now? Like, I, I guess it might have been Blaze. Of course, Blaze. How could I forget that? Right. Venusaur is just going to get one shot. Right, let's have a look at everyone's special defense. 44, 56, 76, 51, 64. Oh, shit. I might actually lose. I don't know. Special defense do you have again? 51. Right. I might have to switch to Doug Trio. Oh, but I can't. He's only got ground... He's mainly only got ground moves, and... Fury Swipes isn't going to be enough to kill it. Damn it. I'll just have to switch to Arcanine. This is all I've got right now. Yes! Oh, yes, Flash Fire. I love you. I love you, Arcanine. <laughs> oh, now he's using smoke screen. Well, that's going to be annoying. Just a bit more. Come on, Arcanine. You've got this. When it used one smoke screen, how how are you missing this many in a row? Uh, I'm using so many lemonades just to beat him here. Execute. Oh, he still has execute. Right. <sighs> hate, hate being paralyzed. It sucks, man. Right, go on, Kang Hosa. My God, Arcanine, you are such a beast. And I actually forgot about Flashfire as well. Like. I even looked at the summary of my Pokemon as well, and I didn't even, and I just overlooked its ability. Like, I feel so dumb. Oh, Future Sight, that's not good. Um, all I've got is attacking moves, so...
have to take this time to paralyze heal me arcanine she only do like yeah I thought so didn't think it was gonna kill me Let's just use Tate now. He might have good special defense, but he doesn't have good defense. Alright, and then Bite should finish it off. But it failed! Nice. Right, can I switch before he... Yes, I can. Uh, I'm only only switched to Doug Trio just so it just so it takes the future side. Right, let's just do whatever you can here. Oh, you missed. You didn't even land a single move off there. Wow, got so unlucky there. Right. He hasn't got anything to contend against Venusaur, so... Let's just stick with the same old combo that I had before. Oh, he's got Dragon Rage. In that case, then, why did he switch in the first place? I guess he just wanted the type advantage. Which, to be fair, I don't blame him. It's going to get it down to low red. Yeah. Probably going to take out Venusaur, but no, if he takes out Venusaur, then no one will get the XP, so. And XP is pretty valuable. Oh, I could have survived that. That was a lot of XP. Oh man. You so you are ready for boss rocket. God damn right I am. Well Connor, I'm moving on up up and ahead. By checking my Pokedex, I'm starting to see what's what's strong and how they evolve. Am I a genius or what? Well, not really. I'm going to the Pokemon League to boot out the Elite Four. I'll become the world's most powerful trainer. Connor, good luck to you. Don't sweat it. Smell ya. Right, give me my lacrosse. 